fifth grade chapter three king alfred and the beggar long ago the danes drove king alfred from his kingdom and he had to stay hidden for a long time on a little island one day everyone on the island except the king and queen and one servant went out to fish the island was a very remote place and no one could get to it except by a boat about noon a ragged beggar came to the king's door and asked for food the king called the servant and asked how much food do we have in the house my lord said the servant we have only one loaf and a little wine then the king thanked god thanked god and said give half of the loaf and half of the wine to this poor man the servant did as he was bidden the beggar thanked the king for his kindness and went on his way in the afternoon the man who had gone out to fish came back they had three boats full of fish and they said we have caught more fish today than on all the other days that we have been on this island the king was glad and he and his people were more hopeful than they had ever been before when night came the king lay awake for a long time and thought about the things that had happened that day he fancied that he saw a great light like the sun and in the midst of the light there stood an old man with black hair holding an open book in his hand it may all have been a dream and at to the king it seemed very real indeed he looked and wondered but was not afraid who are you he asked of the old man alfred my son be brave said the man for i am the one to whom you you gave half of all the food that you had be strong and joyful of heart and listen to what i say rise up early in the morning and blow your horn three times so loudly that the danes may hear it by nine o'clock five hundred men will be round you ready to be led into battle go forth bravely and within seven days of your enemies shall be beaten and you shall go back to your kingdom to regain in peace then the light went out and the man was seen no more in the morning the king arose early and crossed over to the mainland then he blew his horn three times very loudly and when his friends heard it they were glad but the danes were filled with fear at nine o'clock five hundred of his bravest soldiers stood around him ready for battle he spoke and told them what he had seen and heard in his dream and when he had finished they all cheered loudly and said that they would follow him and fight for him so long as they had strength so they went out bravely to battle and they beat the danes and drove them back into their own place and king alfred ruled wisely and well over all his people for the rest of his days